Good morning. Anybody there? Anybody there? Good morning. It's good, good here, isn't it? It's very warm where we are. I think we're experiencing a heat wave, don't you? Good morning. I understand if you're not here. I really, really do. I understand if you're sitting in a cold bath. I get that too. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> and it's set to stay this way. Oh, goody. Come on in if there's anybody there. Lucy, are you there? Are you keeping me calm? Good morning, Helen. Hello, Sue. It's nice to have your company. I totally understand if people don't turn up today and watch later when it's cooler. I get it. Dull and thundery, Maureen. Golly. Well, in the southeast of England, where are you then, Maureen? Where's Paynton? Paynton? That sounds like Devon. Dunno. There's a Paynton in Devon, isn't there? Well, Maureen, I'm telling you, it is hot. Damn hot. <laughs> it has been all weekend. I can take the heat. I'm not a, I'm not a sun, you know, a sun worshipper. I'm not. Come on in, grab a seat. I'm definitely not a sun worshipper. But I do like warmth. But this weekend was too much for me. Way too hot. The best bit was the walk in the woods under the canopy. Oh yeah, it was nice and cool there. A little breeze. It was lovely. I could have gone round again and again, but my legs packed up. <laughs> Come on in. It's good to have your company. We'll try not to sweat onto our artwork or dribble on it. <laughs> I wish the fans weren't so loud that lovely Sheila gave me. I had to laugh on Friday, Saturday morning. My fans have arrived, my fans have arrived, my fa all over Facebook. <laughs> so there we are. I bet you're all sitting at home, aren't you, with these on? Brilliant. I love you people. So let's have a look. Where is, I'm not gonna fiddle with any knobs though, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna create havoc. I have a, ha a habit of doing that. But tell me, where is Paynton? I thought it was in Devon, but maybe it's spelt differently. <laughs> Do us a favour, two minutes to ten. Lucy, can you just let me know? Lucy, hi, Barb, I'm here, sound is perfect. Jim, sound is good. Thank you so much, guys. Happy to hear it. Cool. Well, so what we're doing today, we're going to find a shady spot under the sea. That's what we're doing today, aren't we? I thought... Because last week we spent all week under the sea and then we didn't get to do the shady bit. And whilst loads of you have been with me since the beginning, so you're already a dab hand at shading, many of you haven't, we've never got to the, the doodling plus the shadow, the drop shadow, the shading, the pencil work. So it makes all the difference to the doodle, doesn't it? Doesn't it, guys? It sure does. <coughs> makes a big difference. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, I've got to see what's the thunder, Cornwall. Come on, tell us what the weather's like where you are. Overcast in northeast Scotland. Susan, <coughs> I could do with a bit of overcast here. Under the roof, in the shack shack. <laughs> no, I'm not going to complain about the sun. We love the heat, don't we? <laughs> Are you drinking loads of water? That's what we're supposed to do. Right. I may have a little bit of heat, heat fog. You know when you can't string your sentences together? That could happen. <laughs> Very hot here in Surrey. I know. <laughs> I know. Same neck of the woods. Sussex, Surrey, Kent, hot. Right? There's no clouds down here, I'm telling you. So I say, am I, dri am I sweating or am I just dribbling with water? Every time I look down at my mat, there's water. Vasa. <laughs> Don't want that to happen, do we? To our masterpiece, eh? 
Keep smiling. We're in the shack shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. I've got both windows open, so it's a little bit louder. If it gets ridiculous and all the boy racers decide to come out, get out of bed early, um, I may have to shut that one. It must be my age. <laughs> Tiverton, overcast and muggy, Jane. In Manchester, is it? Well, spreading the love. You're lucky it's overcast. Right, you ready? Let's do some, let's do some uh, work to our, shall we? Shall we have a look at what we did and where we're going? I, I kind of, I, I didn't do too much <laughs> over the weekend because it was really hot. But shall we have a look and see where we're going? Come on then. So this is my, my creation so far. It's, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. So let me see, let me get my right glasses on. I've got the ones where I can get in the room with you. Oh, and that reminds me, lovely Lucy's in the room with you. So if you have any questions, just direct them at Lucy and she will be happy to help you. Won't you love? So let me see, what did I do? Yeah, I thought a fishnet would be nice around the outside. I like, I like netting. I like the, um, the feel of netting. Went a bit off piece there. I'll put my finger on that. I'll put a butterfly there. Doesn't matter. It's all going to be so busy. Got, got a bit of a knot in the net there. Um, I thought we could do the top bit together just so that you see how easy it is. And then what do we need? We need a rubber, an eraser pencil um, to rub out the, the sketchy work once we've finished. And then we need a pencil. And it's as I always say, all you need is a bit of copy paper and it. A bit of copy paper and a pencil. That's it. And I like that idea. I do. I do indeed. So, I saw on Facebook loads of you had already posted beautiful artwork. Congratulations, it's fabulous. And if the others of you um, are looking for inspiration or ideas or just, you know, lots of you good people have already coloured them in, some of you have shaded them, it's great. And some of you have just waited and tucking in behind me. And that's great too. It really isn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter what we doodle. What's important, what's important is that we have a place to go to every morning at 10 o'clock. And so one day you may get up and you may be fine for weeks. And then one day this whole COVID-19 thing will grab you by the throat and you'll be panicking. And that's the day you come and hang out with us. You say, oh, that's right, they're all gonna be there at 10 o'clock. And I promise you we will be, okay? We will be. So, and that's what this is all about. So what we doodle together is secondary. We just happen to have subjects. And we're, so we're, we're developing our, our skill set, aren't we? Our coloring and our shading. You know, when we finished Under the Sea, we'll go back to our postcards. Um, I'll come up with something else that we can do, you know? And you'll get better, and you'll get better because practice does improve whatever you're doing. It always does, doesn't it? My drawing's getting better, you know? But the main thing is that you know that at 10 o'clock, Monday to Friday, there's somewhere to come. And Lou Withers, she's also, she doodles. Sometimes she does at the weekend. So if you're having a rough day on a weekend, go find Lou. She's great. She does other doodles. She does other things. She's arty too, you know? She's like us. She's a creative. Yes, yeah, she is. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. And I thought we'd start with the number. Let's just do the netting first. Do you fancy just having a little go at the netting? And that'll get us our eye in. Mm -hmm. And then we'll rub out the pencil work and then we'll start on the shading. Yeah? Cool. Come on then. Number two, let's have a look. So this is where we're going. We've done, I've done the netting around there. Easy, 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 easy. The hardest bit is trying not to buckle the paper with my chivetti hands. Everybody in the building, let me have a quick look before we get started. Good morning, good morning from Muggy Exmouth in Devon. Ah, lovely on the West Coast. Is it, Hilda? Good to hear that. 
from sunny and raining in Thatcham. Oh, I say, is there a storm on the way? Hot and sunny in Cheshire. Overcast in, Way in West Wales. Isn't it lovely how many of us get together and where we all are? South coast, meltingly hot. I know. Isn't it smashing? How many of us? You know, there's a, there's a lot of negativity around Facebook. A lot of negativity around it, you know. But I think the way we handle it with the Shack Shack is pretty, pretty special, really. What an opportunity, eh? Now, what do I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, 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 miny. Uh, there's one. I know they make me feel seasick. We'll have to go with them first. Right, the number one pen. And then what we'll do is, this is what I'll do. I'll start at the top and I'll just, I'm going to eyeball this. Let's get on there. Come on. Even my pens are sweating. Honestly. Let's give it a go. Right. When your pens get a little bit cranky, just swizzle them like that until they start again. That'll do. Okie dokie. See if we can, if we can come in there, then I can lean on my work, which I need to do at the moment. Let me just get the tracing block out of the way. Right. Okie dokie. So what we'll do is we'll just do a diagonal. Slowly does it. It's a doodle. But just do a diagonal like that. It's very easy. Hmm? So I'm leaning on my, what's this called? Uh, groovy guard. The thing that we use for when we're working on parchment. Cool, I'll tell you what. You definitely need to be leaning on this if you're working with parchment in this heat. I remember, I remember. Do you remember, come on, I bet most of you do, the English will, the Brits. Do you remember the summer of 76? Do you remember that one? I was in the sixth form at school. And we, we were trying to do exams. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was absolutely absurd. The paper was just... It, <laughs> they sent us home in the end. They abandoned it. We were trying to do our mocks. That's what I remember. I'm sure I was, I was doing my mocks or something. I remember they were important exams. They were our row levels or mock A levels or something. But crikey, the heat. And yet, I reckon it's hotter now, don't you? I bet if we looked it up, come on, somebody look up summer of 76. It was 30, what was it here? On Well, it's 37 outside our back door. 37, 37 degrees. So that's nearly 100 degrees. Too hot for my taste. Mind you, so don't worry about what happens when it gets down there. It's a join. Um, mind you, I remember when I lived in California. Remember I said about living inland. God, blimey. That was heat. So what I want to do now, rather than just join them all up like a zigzag, I want to go a bit more random than that, so that it's not always... Do you see what I mean? So it's going to go like that. So then that one's going to hit there, that one will hit there. I'll do a couple of them. So the knots are going to be in the middle more as well, see? Like this. Then the knot will be there. Yeah, we... Oh. And I remember I was doing these... There was a, a, a circuit, like a, a craft circuit, and they, they were street festivals all over, in San Francisco, in the county, San Jose, that was a big one, all around, Santa Clara, everywhere. And um, I was on that circuit. I think it was called the California Art, Art, Art Circuit or something like that, anyway. And, um, and that was where I was, 
I was um I was selling my stamps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, under a gazebo in the swelter and I I'm telling you, some of the sometimes San Jose oh, harder than hell. It was so hot in the summers there. Crazy hot. And I think that was the reason I came home in the end. I remember doing this show and it was a San Jose street fair. And it was it was about 115 degrees. I kid you not. And it was belting hot. And people didn't want to buy my stamps. They weren't interested in my blinking hand-drawn or little individually boxed, lovely, arty, welcome to the world of clarity stamps. They were interested in ice cream and wine. That's what I remember. And I remember it was it was it was almost I'd say well let's say humiliating is a strong word. <laughs> Where am I going now? It wasn't humiliating as much as draining. Just draining, mentally, physically draining. And I was I remember I I'd. I had to stand, you know, this little gazebo and you had to set it up and cost a fortune. And I had this little stand and you're there for like three days. It's not like you can go home. And we were all roughing it. <laughs> and I had to stand next to this couple and what they sold, right, that were old cowboy boots. <laughs> This is what tipped the scales for me. This is when I said, Do you know what? I don't belong here. I belong in England. <laughs> and they were selling these. It wasn't so much them as the public. They were they were selling these cowboy boots, old ones, the like old, where they'd they cut a hole in the side, put a roof on it, and called it a birdhouse. Okay. <laughs> well, they couldn't get, they couldn't sell them fast enough, right? They couldn't, they couldn't, he was shuffling backwards and forwards to the van faster than you could get these blinking boots out. And I just sat there with my rhyme chart and my lovely art thinking, Location, 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 right? Clearly, San Jose Art and Wine Festival was not the place for me because people wanted cowboy boots that had been converted into birdhouses. <laughs> and I remember it was so hot, that's the point of this gig, in the end, I thought, I don't even want to be on my stand. And you never leave the stand, it's a golden rule. For lots of reasons, obviously, but most of them, it, mostly it's professionalism. And I went and sat, <laughs> I left all the rhyme charts a lot. I hadn't made enough to even cover my stall. I left everything there, and a big crowd of people queuing up to buy these birdhouses and ridiculous signs for the garden that the man next door was selling. Well, good luck to him. You know, he was having his day anyway. I sure, I sure wasn't. And I went and sat in the van because it was air conditioned. Woohoo! <laughs> and I remember it because I, I sat in the van and I put the AC on. The van was parked miles away. I walked to the van. I put the air conditioner on and I wrote a letter. I wrote a letter. And I don't even remember who I wrote it to. It probably was my mum and dad. And I said, I think it's time for me to give up and come home. This isn't going very well. Because my marriage had already gone down the toilet. And I was trying to eke out a living. And clearly, it was, you know when you get to that place where you just have to accept that what you're doing, you're going down the wrong road and it is too hot to handle. 
And so that was where I made my decision in that sweltering heat, actually in the back of my cool old van, that was where I decided it was time to cut and run. <laughs> I did, I did. And it was because it was too hot in San Jose. Something went ding, moment of clarity. Time to retreat to England. And look, it's as hot here, but not quite as hot, not as hot as it was there. Because there, it just went on forever. It didn't stop, did it? Here, it's a freak. It's a couple of days, maybe a week, and then we go back to normal again, don't we? See, I could be, I could be a bus driver. Can you imagine how hot it is? Anyway, that's why I came home. And so, yeah, there you go. That's why I came home, and I'm glad I did. I, I love, I love America, and I love California. My kids are there as well, but it was too just where we were was just too too extreme, extreme. That was what it was, too extreme for this old chick. Right. So, did you do your netting? Which glasses? Look at this. Look at this. This is called age, isn't it? Aging. Let's put these ones on for a minute. That's better. There we are. Good morning, Sheila Stokes and Laura and Ros Watts and Pauline and Anne. Lovely to have your company. So, have we done as much as we, we need to? Come on, we could get some, otherwise we're gonna end up, we're gonna be under the sea all week, aren't we? So put these to one side and it's rubber next. Rubbers, erasers, erasers next, okay? And what we've got to do now is rub out the pencils underneath your work. I, I've done a little bit already, because otherwise that's going to take another half hour. But what we have to do now, before we can do the shading, oh, my hands are so hot. Before we can do the shading, we have to get rid of the sketchy marks, don't we? So that's easy and it's relaxing. Don't press too hard or you'll wear away the, the inking. How does she know these things? <laughs> so I get a brush, dust away, and all we'll do is just rub, 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 get rid. This is a nice area. I like that bit, don't you? I'm gonna lean on a bit of copy paper because that will soak up the water from my fingers. <laughs> Plastic won't soak it up, will it? Right, there you go. So we're just going to gently rub out the pencil marks. Have you already done all yours? I bet you have, haven't you? It's quite relaxing, isn't it? There we go. Sand dollar. Sand dollar. Nice things, hey? Wasn't that lovely last week with those little doves inside. Didn't know that. All those years I've had them in that box and I never cracked one open because I thought they were too precious to break. Now I thought, well, actually, I've got enough. I could, I could, I could sacrifice one. Wasn't that lovely? Starfish. Nice. It's nice actually. What I am enjoying is that we're we're in this heat wave. Well, we are here down south in England, and we're drawing really cool things like cool cool water and cool under the sea. Yeah. Who's got a paddling pool then? Who's hands up? Who's who's been in the, putting their feet in the paddling pool? Hey, we were a bit slow here. No paddling pool. Nada. Didn't think that far ahead, did we? Would have been nice though. I think Sue Dakin, you've got a paddling pool, haven't you, dear? Cool. I was thinking. 
Who's got a hot tub? Who thinks that a hot tub might be? Because Julie was trying to convince me that a hot tub might be a good idea. Dave wasn't convinced. I was right up for it. I was ready to go online and buy one. <laughs> Anything that you can put cold water in, really. Who here has a hot tub? Anybody? I mean, it doesn't have to be hot, does it? It can be cold, too. Do you think it's worth it in this country to, to invest money in... Mind you, don't know, it could get worse, couldn't it? It could get hotter, harder and harder. Oh, hang on, his eye. I haven't done his eye. I, I only did his eye with the... I'm going to leave it like that, too. Where's me 2H? I'm going to do the eye. I won't rub that bit out because I did that with a pencil. So I won't rub it out. Right, here we go. We're nearly there, aren't we? Have you got rid of all the... See, I didn't make that completely black because I thought it would be a little bit overpowering in the middle of the... You'd see him coming at about 100 yards, wouldn't you? He'd be like shark bait. Look, he's like... <laughs> Come and get me! <laughs> He's supposed to blend into the background. He's like a flag at the Grand Prix, this one. <laughs> it's like, he might as well have a little flag that says, Lunch! Right. But there you go. In for a penny. Right, I reckon we could start on our shading now. And what better place to start than the shells? Hey, it's nice, isn't it? I like this bit as well, like the banner. I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so do you want to start? Is it just me today? I understand. <laughs> I'm reading your comments. We went on holiday to Canada that year and I got my O-grade results whilst there. I couldn't believe we went abroad when there was a heat wave here. Yeah, there was. Claire, you weren't even born in 76. <laughs> oh, great. Well, I was 17 by then. Mm. Right, come on. Just having a little trip down memory lane here, eh? Should we do the, shell, the shells? I think the shells would be great. So what we're going to do, let me just, I'll come in a bit closer in a minute. Let's get our HB pencil going. You could use, look, this is where these come in. Boom. So all the buzz, all the blacks, you've got 3B, you've got, oh, we've got loads here. 2B, 2B or not 2B? That'd be quite a good one. See, H, HB's, I'm going to use 2B, 2B. 3B, 5B, cool, they're all there. B is for black, just in case you're wondering. When we were doing the bubbles, we used 4B. Thing is, as well, I mean, these are the Faber Castell ones. I like, I'm, you know me, I'm, I'm a friend of the family. I like Faber Castell. Um, if you get other pencils from different companies, the 4B might be a lot darker. I found that. And the 2B is a lot darker. It's, it's, it changes from um, company to company, from brand to brand. So my what I'm trying to say is my 2B, this one, it may be your HB if you're using Derwent, for example. You see what I mean? So that's that's what I'm trying to say so let's have a look at this so what we want to do now is get a bit of shading going and I think I'll start yeah come on let's get our eye in let's just start so really the shade would be around there wouldn't it it would be a, let's get a chisel so it's not so sharp and then we're using now we can work on that see so you get a you get a chisel going like that and that will help a lot and then what we're going to do is just add shade. Let's assume that the light is coming from up here. I would assume, and I don't think I'd be too far wrong, to assume that the light is coming from the top. So what we'll do is we'll add shadow 
in the creases. Do you see what I'm getting at? So this will make, if I do a little bit of shading, oh hang on, let me get head out of the way. Let me get my head out of the way and let me find my shade. Where is that? There. That's better. So now I can, see, so I can put a bit of shade in there and in there, in that crease there. And then again on the next one. So lightly, like that, and then on that one. Let's do this bit first. Let's go this way. So always on the, on, it's obvious really, isn't it? Look, but look how much it changes it when you add a bit of shade. in those spirals. It's going to make a big difference. Right, just like that. And then and then once we've done that, let's have a look at it from the top and see if we can see. See this one here. And then what we'll do is we'll add a bit more down the bottom as well, because clearly this, the light's coming down there, so it's going to come in here as well. And this bit belongs to this little fella too. This bit here belongs to this sh shadow, to this shell, sorry. Right, so we'll add a little bit there. So this one's behind that one. So we'll give that a little bit of a, a bit more. Hey, Shall I come in a bit closer? Come in a bit closer on the top one. Oh, golly. That's better. You can see it now. You see what I'm up to. See? Got the wrong glasses on. Let's get these on. Oh, that's better. Right, so if you go over the edge, you can always rub pencil out, that's what it's for. Okay, so now we're going to get our shadow going. See? So this is there, and it's just logical, isn't it? So this, this here, clearly the shadow is going to be there, isn't it? That bit there, I reckon. That's where the shadow is going to be, because this is underneath that bit. See? And then let's just let's just have a look. And then again, get your chisel going. Everybody cool with this? So you put a bit of shading in there. Right, that'll be nice. This is quite dark. You get different element, different. You get different grades of shadow. That's what I'm trying to get. Sorry, it's the heat. I <laughs> can't. Bit brain fog. So this, this particular shell, I think that this area here is going to be quite light because the light's going to hit it. So it'll probably be a little bit dark around there and then a, around here. See? So you've got things to consider when you're shading. And then you can just, you can always go in with a, with a blacker pencil later if you want to make it darker. But let's just get the basis down and let's just learn the basics. So if the light's going to hit that bit there, right, let's have a look. This will probably be like so. There you go. So you're just going to put some shading, shading sorry, around the base there, like that. And then in this area here a little bit, just give it a little bit of depth. There we go. And around the back, around the front here, the front area, I reckon this will probably be a bit darker than the top. The nice thing about this is you can you can always rub it out again, can't you? There, that's quite good. Now let me just humour me for a minute. If I take a darker black one, like oh, uh, let's have a look. Let me let me go to five B. It's a lot darker. See, afterwards, if I wanted to, I could go in and without pressing much harder, but you'll see. Look, just by using a black pencil, I'm not pressing hard at all. I'm just going, in fact, you don't want to press hard because if you if you press hard, you get a sheen and then it's almost like you can't add anything else to it. But you see how you can, look. Once you learn how to do a shell like this, then, you know, think it through when, you, when you're doing petals or flowers. This works quite well then, see? So now I'm using the very black 
5B. Wait, you get, they go darker than that in the tin. What have I got here? This one's just 2B. Just nice. Just enough to show me, to establish where I want the shade to be. And then I can go in with the real dark ones afterwards. And then if I want to, you know, we've got our blending uh, nibs. This is just so if you, if it's a little bit, you know, sometimes you do this and it's a little bit patchy, you know, and you, you struggle to get the smoothness. When you're using these soft graphite pencils, what well, the B's, the, light, the higher the number, the softer the graphite. And, and as it gets blacker, the softer it gets, the blacker it gets. And if you struggle to blend the shade in, then these nibs, they just do it for you. If your finger wasn't dripping, you could use your finger. However, the finger tends to, see this bit here, See, I can go in here and I can smooth this out beautifully like that. Look, see? And I can get into areas with these little nibs without losing the white area. Because it's obviously the highlights are accentuated by the shading, aren't they? By the low light. So you don't want to make it all grey, otherwise you just have to get darker and darker and darker. So these are great for just smoothing out. Yeah, and don't forget if, for example, it's like rub it out, it's up, wax on, wax off. If, if for example, you you feel oh, I've lost the whiteness, I, I I've overcooked it, then you especially like this area. When I'm working on the fish, I definitely need to cover this area up with the groovy guard or a piece of paper because otherwise this my hand will just smear all my pencil work. So perhaps we should have started at the top, but this is a more interesting learning curve. Yeah, or we'll turn it round. But you can use your rubber, you see, if you want to re-establish whiteness, light, in other words, you can go back in with your rubber, like this area here, and I can just come down through there like that, because the pencil's really, See? And that's why we use a brush to get rid. So you can really accentuate your, 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 your shading by using darker pencils. So, and just titivate really. On, off, on, off, on, off. Okay? So that works, doesn't it? And then let's have a look at the, let's have a look at a, a sea. What are these called? Starfish. Let's look at the starfish. Right, so the starfish, to be, this is a good one. To be or not to be? Starfish. I'm just getting rid of, I'm just scratching a little bit to make the chisel on the to be. I need to have a flat, otherwise, see if I do that, in a minute I'll have a lovely flat look, see? Now I can get a brilliant shadow going. So in here now, I'm going to just establish where I want the shadow to be. Just like we did with the droplets, you put it in place for, so I think that would be shady there and there, right? I reckon that would be shady. Definitely, don't you? That bit there. Then I think we add a little bit of shade in here because it is going in. This does, it does have a contour to it, doesn't it? So we'll put a bit of shade in there, a little bit around there. I mean, that's the top, but nonetheless, there'd still be a little bit of a shadow. See, and that gives it that, just doing that gives you the illusion that these bits are raised, doesn't it? Well, it's supposed to anyway. Right, and then what we're gonna do is just, see, you're very good at this. I know if you've been doing the, um, the coloring week with me as well, which is, this is what this is supposed to be, isn't it? Is the colouring week in the postcards. Then we've been, we've been learning all about how to add layers and layers. See, it's going to look lovely. But look how, isn't it? It's a good skill to, it's a good skill to master, I think, shading. Let me just see if I, let me just see if I use my, just want to see for you if it, 
Oh yeah, it really does smooth it out, doesn't it? Okay. Smooths it out really nicely. Look at that. Cool. Yeah. So if I take my 5B now, I might sharpen it a little. Do I want to sharpen it? No, I don't. I want it. See, if I'm if I've got the flat, let's get the flat on the black one. Then when I turn it round, it'll be sharper. So that way I've got choices, haven't I? So if I want to add a little bit of real depth in there, see? That works brilliantly, doesn't it? Look. So what should we do about the area underneath? If this is this dark now, right, we obviously, the starfish would create a shadow, as would the shells, on the sand, on this bit here. So I would go to the lighter one now, the lighter one, and I would add a really... Just a real light drop shadow. What have I got here? Right. Like so. See? And I'm using the flat. It's a good shading exercise. I'm using the flat of the pencil. See? There's going to be a bit of shadow there. The light's coming down this way. It's going to sh shade it. Look, shady spot there, shadow here, isn't it? It's got to be. And straight away, look. I mean, I'm no expert at this, but it's just logical, isn't it? There you go. So that's, that's the shadow there, isn't it? That shadow there. I tell you what, you've done fantastic bubbles. Those bubbles that we were doing last week. If anybody missed that, it was on the Thursday, wasn't it? It was the Thursday video. Maybe Lucy can find out what number that in the Shack Shack that was. So it won't be Fridays, it'll be Thursdays. It, Jim will know, because he numbers them for me. Um, have a look. If you missed the, 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 the water bubbles. They were cool, weren't they? I've got, I must have them somewhere because we've been going, haven't we? Where's my bubbles? It's not in there. I wonder where I put that lot then. I'll have them somewhere in my stash. Anyway, we did we did water droplets and it ca they came out really nice. Look, doesn't that look cool? See, and that's where this comes into play. Look. So if I wanted to just pretend, I wanted to put, well, we're not even going to pretend, we're going to do it. If I wanted to put a drop shadow all the way along this ridge here, all the way along here, like that. So you do sweeping motions, watch, you start here, and you just keep going back on yourself and sweep. Like that. Just along that edge. There you go. So once we've got that, we've established that line, so we've done that, right? So let's have a look. So you go like that, and you're going along, and you put your line down like that. Okay, but it's a little bit of a stripe, isn't it? So we've got choice, so now we want to break that stripe, so it's graduated. So we're going to go back over the dark, but what we're going to do is we're going to do light feathery strokes at an angle, just like, like this. So we go along like that, and we're just... Always keep going back over where you were, do you see? When you do this, you break the stripe. Very lightly. It's, it's like you're not even touching. Turn it around. I've got my, I've got my paws in the graphite. Right. You're not even touching the paper, you're really just gently stroking it like that. See? Don't don't rush it. This is like white work, isn't it, with groovy? Hey? See, and then this is gonna be a bit of a shadow around here, so we can do the same thing here. Let's get a bit of a shadow going on the See how we're building it up. So now 
you go in the opposite direction. So we've gone that way. We've, oh, hello. We've gone this way. So now we're going to come back in the opposite direction. So I'm just going to put my piece of copy paper over my artwork so I don't shvet all over it. And let's see if, if I come back the other way. Let me just make sure I've got my chisel. Yeah. Right, here we go again. See, the thing about this job, what we're doing here, it's very, apart from being very relaxing and effective, you have to concentrate, don't you? And in that concentration lies the distraction. And in the distraction lies the mindful process. And that's how it works, see? So, we're getting a really good shade going there. Oh, can you hear my tummy? Now, if I flip my pencil round, I can get darker close to the actual line. See? So I'll get that line in, and you'll see, as you do this, it starts to get really... See? Just... So you've got a much... Got a graduation going there, haven't you? See how three-dimensional it's starting to look. And the darker you get close to that edge. The more depth you'll get there. And then if you want to, see, doesn't that look like it's 3D. It does, it does from this angle. Now let's see what happens if I take my, my blender and I'll just run along that edge. See if we can smooth it out. See? Just smooth it out. And you're, you're going in the same direction as the pens went, the, pen, the pencil strokes went. See? There we go. So, smooth it out and you can bring it down, you can pull it down a little bit if you want it to be more graduated, see? So it gets, you get that real um, graduation. It's that seamless graduation, isn't it? There. And I know we've only done one little area, but hey, if you can do this little area, then you can do the rest as well, can't you? Bingo. Right, I like that. I like that a lot. So you see how that works, yeah? Time to stretch our necks. Time to stretch our necks. You can see why I wanted to do this. It's... Um, it's what brings the picture to life for me. It goes from being flat to having personality. So you can see just from the little area that we've done, just the little area that we've done, straight away it starts to create depth. Just these little shells, those bits and that bit, starts to pop. And when you start bringing things to the back, taking things to the back and bringing things to the front with shadow, that's when it starts to look really, really lovely. And if you've only got an HB pencil, do you know what? That works. You just press harder, don't press too hard. It's a luxury to have all these different grades of graphite. And it does make the job easier, but it isn't strictly necessary. See, I don't need a 5B pencil to get a shade in on this on this particular shell say I can use an HB which is what most people will always have most pencil bog standard is going to be an HB so for example if we do this one here let's just add exactly like before lights coming from the top so we're gonna add a little bit of shadow around the bottom this end this bit here of the shell clearly yeah, so that's that. And then in here is going to be dark. 
defo. So that's going to be round. I reckon inside the shell will be dark. Look, this bit. Don't you? For sure. That'll do. So you just flash the colour up through that and just, yeah, there you go, HB. HB. We'll leave that side white because then what we'll do is we'll bring shade in on the one behind it so you get your contrast. So this one, we're going to put a little bit of shadow. Let's do some light feathery strokes. And is this what long-winded? Well, do you know, we're, we're, doing, we're doing with a black lead pencil, with a lead pencil with graphite, we're doing what you would do with the colouring pencils, aren't we? To be honest, that's... That's what we're doing here. We're adding the colour where you would add, we're adding the grey scale where you would add the colour. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, it's getting, oh, it's getting hot. Hot, 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 hot. Right, so let's put a little bit of, again, like we did on that, that edge there, we'll do the same thing in here, look. Let's just get a bit of, flick that way. Get a bit of that going. There we are. I love this. This is... This is the best part for me. The, sh the shading. The grey... The grey scale. And I think I almost prefer grey scale to colour. Look at that. See, a bit more in here. Click, 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 click. I'm just using the HB. That'll do. There we are. Oh. What do you think? Are you liking this? Be interesting to see your lovely shading when you master this. takes time. I think that's the thing we have to accept. It's like with the parchment art. It just takes as long as it takes. If you want to get the result, you just take, a t take your time. And it's as I said in the beginning, um, when we got together earlier on, when we started at 10 o'clock, I said, you know, it's... It doesn't matter what you do, it's just about taking you taking you out of your 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 space where you are and getting with your hands so get out of your head in the nicest possible way it's about getting out of your head and and getting with your hands and you'll see that that really will help if you're getting anxious or it certainly does help me. If I concentrate, if I concentrate for half an hour just on this little area here, well, I'm going to go with the darker one now to get a bit more contrast. Um, if I, if I just focus my attention on shading this area, that's all I need it to do. I'm not going to finish it today. I'm not. I can come back to it when it's when I when I need it again. You see, so I know several of you. You. You know, like you get up in the middle of the night and your head's racing and your old washing machine head's going. And the thing to do is go down the kitchen, get a cup of tea and just doodle for half an hour. Honestly, I know you may think I'm mad, but it blimmin' works, you know. It works. See? Get lovely shading going here, doesn't it? And your cartoony shell because it did look a little bit cartoony, suddenly it looks so, so arty, doesn't it? Look, look at these shells now as we start to add our depth. See, and then the, I, I must admit, it makes a difference when you can go in with a darker pencil. 
But th interestingly, if you had a black, say you've got a colour black pencil in a, in your perga liner or in your, it's not the same as graphite. It is not the same as a, as a lead pencil like this. It's a whole other animal. It is for me. And, you know, if you've only got an HB, that's fine. Don't sweat, don't sweat over it. That's just what you, you just use what you got. That's what I'm saying. Use what you got. Just with an HB, you might have to just do a couple more layers. Don't press harder. Just do keep doing more layers. See, I got all the gear. That's the thing. So I use it. You use what you got, don't you? Just add a little bit of shade, a little bit of blending. And we go. These are cool. I must admit. This was Dave's idea, these little pens. They didn't half work well. So good. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, I could spend the whole day now. I can't, because I've got to go to a meeting in Peterborough. So I've got to drive up there, but it's okay. Car's air conditioned. Woohoo! Um, but in my heart, I could spend the whole day now just working my way through that coral, working my way around the netting, doing the, the kelp, you know, but I won't, we won't come back to this tomorrow. I think because all we're going to do is more of the same and we could spend the whole week shading this now, or you could use this as your, your therapy shading project, right? So for example, every day, just do a little bit. Don't make it a chore. Don't make it a chore. Make it your moment of shading. And if you, what I believe as well, is if you do shading and then you step away from it for a little while and you let it percolate, then you go back. And remember I said to you before, What's a good idea is when you're shading as well, or when you're doing anything, make a mental note of what you're doing. So that if you come in and you go, that was a little bit, it looks too stripy or it's too dark, right? There's nothing that can't be repaired with, a, with an eraser. But then when you go the next time and you look at it, you think, right, I'm gonna tweak what I did last time. I'm gonna adjust what I did and see if I can make it a bit lighter. Maybe I can get the depth, the, like the depth, without the darkness, you know, that's, that's really, cool. we did that with the, with the water droplets, trying to get the depth, right, but without going blacker and blacker and blacker, and you can, look, you can, you really can, they don't have to be dark to be effective, so mind you, if we're deep down in the ocean, but I think this would look really, really beautiful if it was shaded like, I would love to do this all with grayscale, like this, and then pick a colour, any colour, one colour. It could be maybe the, the sand colour, you know. It could be, I don't know, the sky colour. Just one colour and then just sort of, it's like a spot colour, just a little bit on the shells maybe, or a little bit on the sand. I would be tempted to go with a kind of an ochre colour, like a yellow, a, a, a muddy yellow. I think that would look really, really fabulous. Almost like vintage. But it's your art. It's your art. You may want to go like this, under the sea. You know, you may want to go bright and tropical and, you know, and that's wonderful too. That's wonderful too. So I'm going to love you and leave you because I've got to get on the road. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed that. Lucy, thank you so much for helping. And um, other than that, I'll be back tomorrow. And we won't go back to this because I'd like to get the postcards out. You know, I'd like to get the postcards out. So I think we'll leave this for today. And, um, and we'll just, you know how to shade. I've given you as much as I can show you now. And... Uh, and I'd love to see your work when you finished it on Groovy uh, or on Clarity Worldwide. That would be epic. OK, so it's too hot here to think straight anymore. I've got to get out of the shack shack. <laughs> it's all right. It's fine.
it was it's 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 hot but it's not unbearable so i love you and leave you go easy and drink lots of water keep hydrated very important and i'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock all right lots of love bye bye now